Okay, so I'm gonna do like the glow up in 24 hours thing. Um, right now I'm filming on my phone because I don't have my camera with me. I'm at my grandma's house. I'm sitting down in her spare guest room. And um, yeah, I actually cut my hair last night. Um, probably like 10 inches off. <laughs> my hair used to be all the way like down here maybe um it was long so i mean that's like that's a good amount of hair that i chopped off i was like looking for a change and then i decided that i also wanted to start filming again so i decided why not just do that little challenge thing that's floating around where basically you glow up in like 24 hours i'm gonna go get my hair done at my sister lawn i'm gonna try to film the beep i'm gonna try to film um some of it if i can it's just kind of awkward because i am just starting back up on youtube and like i don't really want to film in my sister's salon especially since i know people there and it's kind of like awkward but i'll try to like low-key film a little bit of it if i can um but yeah so after that i'm going to do my makeup um probably visit my friend to make myself feel better about my life <laughs> um maybe light a candle i don't know we're just gonna glow up and i definitely need to fix my eyebrows um can't really do anything about my under eye circles you know i wish i could i th that would definitely be a glow up in 24 hours if i could get rid of them but yeah um so i'll check back in with you guys when i'm at the salon maybe even after who knows So I'm back. One, I'm sorry if the quality of the video is literally the worst. Um, I know I had to film on my iPhone um, the first part of this. Uh, and I know right now my lighting is horrible. I actually have these like crappy lights that I bought. So, um, yeah. Two, uh, this obviously isn't the same day, or I don't know if you can tell if it's the same day or not, but it's not. Um, so I did it, like, do it in 24 hours, so I'm doing it in 48 hours, I guess. So, um, basically what happened is I had an asthma attack. And it was like my first asthma attack, so I didn't know what was going on with my like with me. And I was driving too when it started happening, um, and so I had to go to the ER. And basically, I was there for like five hours, so I couldn't uh, come home really quick and finish the video within 24ish hours because of that. So yeah, that's two and then three. Um, but yeah, this is how my hair turned out. Um, I'm not doing something like super crazy with my makeup. Uh, I kind of just want to like do something simple because I know that I I don't want to like take too much time doing something crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do something simple. It's not going to be a really in-depth tutorial. Like it's uh, basically like my everyday look. I just don't really do it every day anymore. So yeah, I'm going to do that first. So like I said, I already um, took off everything that I had on my face with a uh, makeup wipe. Um, I only had mascara, but of course, I was in the ER. Like, I was not feeling good. <laughs> so I was probably sweating a lot. And um, yeah, I say I'm a lot, so I'm sorry. But this is the Becca um, Velvet Blurring Primer. I can't even talk. But yeah, I've been using this for a while now I really like it there I put that on I have the Fenty Beauty foundation um, sometimes I go for this one depending on how I'm, how I'm feeling that day I'm gonna go a little extra more extra coverage right now because yeah um, I am 180 right now because I'm 
white right now. Um, I really want to go to the beach. But I'm 180 right now, so I'm going to blend this onto my skin and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put on my concealer really quick. I'm using the Born This Way Multi-Sculpting multi-use sculpting concealer. I am the shade Vanilla. Um, it's an amazing concealer. It's, I would say it's as good as the Tarte Shape Tape. Some people like it more than the Tarte Shape Tape. I kind of find them equal and it goes really well with their foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm still baking and it's fine. Um, I'm going to use the Too Faced bronzer, on the matte bronzer on, on my eyelids. It's just so that I can have the, some kind of dimension on my eyes, just some color on my eye. This is <clears throat> usually what I do when I'm being lazy and I'm not really trying to do my whole eyeshadow. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do that really quick. And to basically just finish off the eyes, I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty um, highlighter. So then I take my Too Faced bronzer, uh, I use just like the Chocolate Soleil, the medium shade I believe it is, um, and I just bronze my face. If I'm doing more of a casual look, I'm not going to contour my face. So again, I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty, I'm going to take the same color I use on my eyes. Okay, so then I take the um, Tarte Cosmetics Blush and Party. Okay, so I'm basically almost done. I'm going to go off camera and just do my eyelashes, um, like mascara. Okay, so I'm basically done. I just need to go off camera really quick. I'm going to do my eye sh like eyeliner, my lashes, and my, I guess, lipstick, and then I'll be done. Okay, so I'm done the look. I used Cap on D eyeliner for the eyeliner. I used dual lash glue I use kiss eyelashes in midnight midnight Ooh. in midnight and I use uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills matte lipstick in rusk I believe buff actually I don't know where I came up with rusk but yeah the Anastasia Beverly Hills matte lipstick and buff I don't know if glowing up is a debatable term to use um because who knows if i gl glowed up i mean in some people's opinions i probably didn't <laughs> i don't know um it's definitely a change from having really long hair to cutting my hair short um a part of glowing up also, I mean, I got to visit my friends, like, I, I kind of like doing this. Um, I already had, like, my hair scheduled to be done that day anyway, but I like that I got to do my makeup. It's kind of fun. I don't think it's, like, a self-deprecating kind of thing to say that it's, like, a glowing up challenge because essentially at the end of the day, you're the one that's doing it, so. So, yeah, uh, I might make a video talking about my asthma attack because actually, not funny but it turns out to be a little bit funny uh, I still have my little my little wristband from the hospital and I have definitely a bunch of scars to prove that I will do you see this girl 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 just saying during the summer I'm literally like summer spring Early, or sorry, late su late spring, early summer, I'm usually a 210 in Fenty. And then by the end of summer, if I get enough sun, I go up to 260. So the fact that 180, and I guess it could also be because I put bronzer on and stuff like that. So it makes your skin a little bit darker. But oh, yikes, like, let's be real, guys. Like, that's kind of, that's debatable. And I'm upset because I want to be tan. Um, and I want to see the sun. I live in a cold area, but hopefully that will change soon because just like everybody, I'm going to move to California eventually because <laughs> I hate weather change. I don't like when the weather changes. And I actually visited California for a month and I loved it. I loved it so much. I felt literally like I've been missing something my whole life. <laughs> and then when I went and stayed there for like a month, I realized what it was. It was California. I understand like some things are weird over there, but 
Guys, I felt like I belonged. I don't know how to describe it, but I felt like I belonged, so. Hopefully I like keep making videos, cause I actually like making videos, it's so fun. I like talking to the camera. Um, what else? Nothing else, I just really like talking, like I should be a story time YouTuber. So if you see this makeup look in the next video, don't be surprised. I decided I'm not gonna show you guys my skincare thing with my hair. I can make another video doing that actually. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.